In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get legendary heat resistant refined metal armor schematic in Power World. Now, it's quite hard to get, but I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about getting it. So let's get right into the video. So to go ahead and actually get this schematic, you're going to need to go ahead and defeat a Astagon, and there is a chance that it will drop it. So I'm going to show you where you can find that and how to go about battling that. Now, I'd recommend that you actually are around level 40 to 55, and you need to have strong pals because this pal that you're going to be fighting is very strong and very difficult to actually fight. So if I pull up my map here, I'm going to show you the location you can actually find it. So it's on this left side of the map and it's going to be around minus 613 minus 427. So you want to go to that location. That's where you're going to find the alpha pal. And the closest location to that is either the eternal pyre tower entrance or the Mount Obsidian midpoint. So what you're going to want to do is teleport to one of these two locations and then you're going to have to fly over here to actually battle it. Now, in order to get into this sort of lair, there's a little entrance at the front here that you can go to. And if you can't find the entrance and it doesn't work there, there's also an entrance over this side around here, the other side. I actually have a video about how to find the um, entrance of that on the channel, so you can look for that. But what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and actually find the pal, the alpha pal, and you need to go ahead and defeat it. Now, you can either find it and catch it, or you can defeat it, it's really up to you. But I mean, catching it is, is good because it means you're your own one, and it's a pretty powerful power to have. So, once you've done that, there is a chance that the schematic will drop. Now, it isn't guaranteed, and you've got like a 5 to 10% chance. So, if it doesn't drop it, you're going to have to go ahead and try it. And you might have to do it up to 20 times before you're likely to get one. So, let's say that you've actually defeated it, and you've gone ahead and got the um, schematic. How do you actually turn that schematic into the armor itself? Well, you're going to need to get yourself a production assembly line. And if I show you, it's quite high level. We have to go down our technology. So we need the production assembly line 2. Let me find that for you. So all the way down here, level 42 is the production assembly line 2. And that's when you're going to be able to actually go ahead and get the armor for yourself. So go ahead and you have to place that in the base. You can see I'm nowhere near that level right now, so I can't even go near doing that. But once you've gone ahead and placed that in your base, you're going to be able to gather the, the necessary resources to make it. And then you can just create it on the um, bench as you would on any other kind of item. And that's basically how you go about doing it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. And also comment down below that it did help you out so other people can see the same video and get the same great advice. Thank you for watching.